This is the Ducker continuing the Battle Brothers Gladiator playthrough. Just killed a Nomad leader recently, but it's very underwhelming. He didn't seem to do much. Uh, and his he dropped a nice mace. This looks like a tier 3 mace, but no armor. Or just like regular Nomad armor. It was very disappointing. I was hoping to get some better armor. But Spartacus has leveled up to 7. Um, so, you need more fatigue on you. And you do have an ability to let you reroll uh, resolve checks. So let's do Berserker for more damage. And our assassin leveled up. Desperately need more fatigue. I don't think you need more initiative necessarily. Our defense does not suck. Dodge, of course. Now you should have a pretty ridiculous amount of defense. So, if we count our characters, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, maybe 6, 7. There's like 7 characters who I consider... Like, there's only 4 that are truly non-expendable. Maybe the Assassin. 1, 2... Like, that tiny is so bad. But I want to make him work. So, let, let's count the Assassin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Maybe the Bannerman. Like, this guy's not bad, but I feel like I could do better for it. Sorry. Still, uh, up to seven characters, anywhere between four and seven that are not expendable. Uh, and then, so we still need a lot of uh, characters that we're going to uh, carry on through the campaign. So I was just looking at the retinue. Uh, I really want this uh, scout guy to make me go faster, but uh, I have to kill some more beasts if we can find them. My philosophy is I want to pick characters that maximize the number of battles I can get into. The more battles, the more money, the more experience. So like Drill Sergeant, he's pretty good. Uh, you gain more experience. I certainly can't complain about that. Uh, the second part doesn't do anything for us since we're almost never putting any guys off, uh, in reserve. But you know what else gets you more experience? Battles. So I don't think we need a Drill Sergeant like character like the scout is in some ways kind of like the drill sergeant if it gets me more fights uh, better even because i can get money out of it so what else do some of these guys do negotiator i need to know like exactly how this works like how many more rounds I feel like you can only get a small amount more money from him. He's kind of meh. Recruiter. 50% less for tryouts. That's not bad. More recruiting every settlement. That's not bad. I feel like this is better in a larger company, though. You uh, keep rolling on recruits. Like, this second part is what matters. First part, the money is meh. Scavenger. Eh. Seems meh. I suppose it adds up to ammo and tools, but whatever. Lookout. Increased sight radius. That's a big deal. I think this is really, really, really good because it makes it much easier to spot camps so that you can uh, uh, more reliably spot them and fight them. I don't know what uh, this second part is. That could be valuable. I wonder what it does. So, with no better option, let's hire this lookout. All right, that should serve us well. Have some uh, l another level up here on the gambler. We're definitely just an expendable sort of martyr type character. If you're gifted, don't even have to fatigue to do much. But all right, well, he's asthmatic, so we need to get him killed. Apparently, the second part of the lookout's ability just tells you what type of tracks these footprints are. I was hoping it would give me more information, like how many days ago, or uh, something. This is kind of underwhelming, the second part. But the first part, the expanded sight radius, should be really good. Alright, let's see what else can we fight in the arena today. Ifrits. Five Ifrits. I have no idea what those things do. 
I kind of don't want to end the campaign. Uh, I'm going to go read that devlog on the Ifrit. Alright, apparently these things will like combine and then throw rocks at you or something like that. Um, sounds dangerous if you have archers, but I don't have any archers bringing to the arena. I don't know like their stats or anything. If I had Nimbo, I would take this for sure because I'm not afraid of much, but I'm so close to Nimbo, I don't want the campaign to end, right? Like if I lose all three guys here, it's actually game over. Uh, so let's see what happens. Um, you can still turn back. How do you turn... Um, turn the uh, sand red with their blood if they're made of rocks Did they bleed? Okay, I want to know what happens when you click this. I'll have to think it over. Okay, that's all it is. You have to... You can think about it. Alright, what else can we do in this town? Nothing, right? Don't really want to hire anyone else. Wools are a reasonable price here. You can sell off some stuff. Hmm. I also don't know what they're weak against. Like, are scimitars good? Like, do they have damage resistance to something? Berserk could come in handy in this fight. You have that. Oh, only I had Nimbo. You have Overwhelm. But it sounds like in this fight you just want to kill as fast as possible. Hmm. I'm gonna try this. It seems like too much money, but I'm not super psyched. Feels very dangerous. I'd rather have the extra fatigue. You have a underdog. Backstabber. Dodge. My stats are pretty impressive. I have the mace here. I have adrenaline. We can burst down two or three of them. Probably isn't so bad. I just don't know what they do. Like, like what is this range attack of theirs? How much does it hit for? Does it hit for like 200 damage? Uh, probably not. It probably hits for like 100 damage. And how much, like, do the little guys do, right? Are they like the saplings, the shrat things, the little trees or whatever? If they're like that, they're super easy to kill, but... Uh, I kind of want to see what these things do. Alright, the campaign might end here, but let's do it. Uh, let's accept. Uh, just double check the preparations. Is there anything else I could do? Maybe I could buy a potion to help me out? Anything good? Antidotes? That seems useless. Smoke pot? That doesn't seem useful. What does this even do? Ignore zone of control, huh? That's interesting. Um, flash pot? That could be good, although they probably have resilience. Just assuming, like, pretty much all the beasts have resilience. Second wind potion, but not sure that helps. Iron heart potion. Uh, oh, right, I gotta equip the collars, of course. Let's see. I'm not seeing a better strategy. Alright, bring a dagger, a mace, another mace. Spartacus. Might want to keep a shield in the pocket just in case, right? But it does lower your fatigue a little bit. Still, that shield could save you. But I feel like you've just got to kill. So let's... Yeah, 
Okay, you need to do damage. Crixus is gonna be the one tanking for us. All right, let's see what these guys do. Oh, right, the collars, I keep forgetting. Um, maybe I'll die. Let's give the crowd something to cheer for. Let's see what they even do. I wanna, I wanna know. All right, I mean, that was a good thing for us. Let's, um... Okay, this thing moved three, right? One, two, three. yeah, yeah, he moved three. So, he has six AP. They actually have stamina, interesting, but it looks like basically infinite stamina. Um, so, okay, they have six AP. That's good to know. I'm assuming the bigger guy also has six AP. They seem like rocks. They should be slow, right? I assume the bigger guy can, like, throw themselves at me or something like that. So, we want to put someone like Crixus up to shield wall. Uh, you should be pretty resistant to range attacks. Alright, if I put Crixus here, this guy moves. If I put Crixus here. Oh, but we need Crixus to cover. Ganicus should have a pretty good defense. Yeah, 26. Arachus is a little weaker on the range side of things. I'm guessing these guys can move and then throw. I move Crixus here in shield wall. That seemed pretty good, right? Let's see what the last guy does. Yes, yeah, so I like the idea of moving Crixus here shield wall. Let's see what these two little guys do. And we can probably burst them down. Yeah, I knew that guy was going to be slow. Oh, the AI is smart. It waits. All right. This guy's probably going to throw a rock or something because according to the devlog, they throw rocks. Oh. Damn, the AI is pretty smart. Okay, the AI outplayed me. Huh. If I knew that, I would have charged them. Okay, they're probably going to charge me. I should be able to go ahead of them next turn. We have no choice but to pass my turn. All right. Rixus can attack. Oh, they seem to have a lot of health. That's not good. All right, all right. I mean, we're, we're killing them. We killed one. That's not bad. Let's see what this big guy does. All right, what was that? Oh, I was right. They did grow. Okay. Grow living sand. Goes astray and misses. So they, they can hit themselves. Interesting. When they combine. So one big guy is three little guys. And when they combine, I remember they lost a turn. So you kind of want them to combine, right? Uh, uses headbutt and misses Crixus. That's the little one. So 21%. So they have um, like 60 something attack. That's not very impressive. Hmm. Hmm. Not very impressive at all. I don't know how hard they hit, though. Just thinking what I do here.
Hmm. It's real tempting to attack. But... If I don't attack and I don't move, what happens? They might combine into a bigger guy, that's true. Or... I don't know how their combination works. Like, can they move and combine? Like, what can they do exactly? This guy could go like here. That would be ideal. It would allow me to... We know they can't double move and attack, so... If I move Spartacus here, this one moves here. Both of them could attack Spartacus. One, two, three. This one's very slow. We would need to burst these down. Spartacus does a lot of damage. We could probably kill you. And you, Crixus, can tank that. So we kill this one next turn. I think we could do it. Yannickus can always get in there with the Overwhelm. All right. We have good hit chances. I think we gotta be more aggressive. Oh, wow. I thought they would be slower. Okay. Oh. That's not good. Oh, they combined into a big one. And they healed? That seems pretty uh, unfair. I think I want to kill the little one. Let's wait. Let's see. Yep. Classic mistake. By adrenaline. 20. So I'll have 48 fatigue. 48, does that allow me to attack twice? Um, ugh, hate doing the math. 26 plus 48, what is that? Hold on. Alright, I had to pause to do the math, but if I adrenaline, I can attack twice. We can at least kill the little guy. That's something. Can I push him? Yes, I can. I can push him and let Crixus tank him. Crixus has 37. Spartacus actually has better defense than Crixus. Well, in that case, stabby stab. I don't know what this guy does. He might stun me, but we killed a little guy, so that's something. Uh, let's see how much he hits. I doubt he can one-shot. Try to stun him. Let's find out if you can stun these things. I don't know if they're immune or I just missed. That wasn't so bad. Okay, I didn't know when they attacked they would split into three, three little guys. Uh, how much did he hit me for? 42? That was nothing. Ow. Uh, these Ifrits are very rude. Oh, he's gonna attack Spartacus here. Ow. Such rudeness. round bonus my god stop it let's see if you can stun them i'm again curious should be to kill you next turn i'm guessing they're immune to stun um i don't know if i go ahead of them next turn probably not they seem reasonably quick ah shouldn't have stunned by adrenaline now 
Uh, it's back to the math, math uh, formulas. All right, adrenaline is bad because I can only attack once next turn. Um, maybe I kill you? Anakis is pretty fast. Uh, wait for Sparkus to come up. That wasn't so bad. These freaks are nothing. All right, I understand what they do now. They're uh, as a uh, free money. Not bad at all. So Crix has got a little bit beat up, but he's fine. If he had Nimbo, he would have laughed at that. It would have been like hilarious. Little rocks trying to hurt Crixus. <sighs> um, all right. I'm going to sell my stuff. Town. I sold off a bunch of stuff. Bought three stacks of tools, two stacks of incense. Uh, these things do seem to sell pretty lucratively in the north. So, it's time to head back north. I'm not gonna hire any more guys. Um, I need to get this ambition completed. Can't believe it's not friendly yet. We go to Krakenland, we should be able to get friendly with them. So let's head up through the desert, see if we can find some other stuff to kill uh, on our way to Kraken. We have this lookout to help us find fights. It's very, and if we can kill a beast, that would be ideal. So we can travel even faster. Hmm. We did kind of come through this way recently, so it's not necessarily surprising there isn't anything to fight. A little disappointing. I'm gonna pause until I find something interesting. Alright, I've arrived at Durfus. Oh, Nokendorf, Cutthroats, Bandits, and Highwaymen. That's good to know. I'm gonna pay for some rumors. I have no idea where that is, though. Yes, I know. Ah, uh, No useful rumors. I'm not gonna hire anyone. <gasps> A doggo! I want... We can get better prices for the incense. I w even though you have no armor, I want even one dog is useful, if only for chasing down enemies. Who should get the dog? Someone with decent fatigue. Oh, you can get it. Not because you have decent fatigue, but so you have something to do. What else can we do in this town? Nothing, I think. Hmm, we can cut through here on our way to Krakenland, or we can head north. I feel like there are some brigand camps up north. Which way should we go? Hmm. This is actually kind of an interesting question. There's a mountain. We could step on the mountain and see what we see. That seems like a good plan. Especially with this lookout, I bet it combos. Uh, what is this? Growing Renown? I... Oh, Retinue? Okay. Can I get one more slot? Yeah. I thought I have the money. Yeah, I want to take a look on this mountain and see what we see. Uh, sure. It's not much, but it's a, it's a fight. Oh, there's a town up here. 
Ah, there was a rumor that this town was plagued by brigands. Yeah, so why don't we go there? Uh, after we kill this camp, of course. Well, this camp is trivial. There's no point to recording this. Easy fight. Took a little bit of damage. Um, we got a dagger. That's really good. Still need to fight thugs, if only for their daggers. Hmm. Kind of want to hit to this town and see what sort of contracts are available. But I also really want to complete my ambition. My thoughts are, we go to Krakenland, do our ambition. And then we'll head up north here and do, uh, explore around this road, see what we got. Do some contracts like that. That seems smart. While well, traveling along the road, we find some nomads fighting some nobles. I'm real. I want to join in on this fight. Maybe we can uh, pick up some loot. But we're obviously going to win, so not recording this. We managed to steal, uh, steal a few kills. Got some loot for basically doing nothing. Take it. I think, did we get a level up out of that even? Few level ups, how about that? Huh. Oh, you can't be uh, initiative built because you have no... Uh, you have no... Uh, you have paranoia. Uh, if you survive, you're going to be nimble, so Colossus makes sense. Or Fisherman. Uh, you have rotation, right? We expect you to hit, you really need fast adaptation. This guy is definitely not long for us, our company. All right, onward. We've arrived at Krakenland. There are fortunately two contracts. Does this uh, follow the tracks? Yes. I need to get friendly with this town. This should do it. What's the other contract? Uh, deliver cargo to Hickmar. Probably not going to do this. But if we don't get friendly by doing this contract, I kind of have to do the other one. What sort of... Um, ooh, okay. So Knockendorf has a contract. That's good to know. What else we got? Outlaws. Hill of Bones. I think I knew about that. Right, it's yeah, there was a plethora of ancient auxiliary. If it's still a plethora of ancient auxiliaries, we could beat that uh, now. If they have um, those, uh, whatchamacallit, the legionnaires, uh, depends on how many, we might be able to beat that, but it would be rough. Very rough. All right, let's follow the tracks north. Please let me complete the ambition for doing this. And please let me find some beasts to kill so I can do my uh, hire the guy that makes me go faster. That's it. This is, again, not worth recording. Oh, there's a necromancer. Still, they're just thugs. Um, it's not really worth recording. Definitely. But... Easy fight. Um, without raiders, the necromancer can't do much. There were three guys with daggers, but I only got one of the tier 2 daggers. That was disappointing. But we are building up a nice stock of the tier 2 daggers, so I can't complain too much. Alright, back to town. Alright, turning the contract, and finally, this town turned friendly so we can complete our ambition. I want to try to chain some more ambitions after this. Anyone we can hire. This guy seems interesting, this raider. But what I want above all else is to get ourselves um, a lookout. So we should be able to sell our goods here for a pretty good price. I mean, you know, there are uh, fine prices. Could be better, but... Ooh, six nuts. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of the uh, old inventory management. 
All right, I bought all six nuts, sold off a bunch of stuff, bought one more stack of tools. We'll have plenty of tools. We have 3.9K. Um, and I want to do some more contracts, explore a bit, try to uh, kill some beasts so we can finally buy the scout to make us go faster. And then in general, we're going to try to make some more money and uh, start screening better recruits. I want to save my money for now until I can screen some uh, better recruits. Maybe get some of our guys killed off like uh, this guy, this uh, useless gambler. And then uh, hire some more recruits. That seems like a good plan. I'm not gonna do that contract to travel all the way back to Hickmar. Are you kidding? That's so far. Let's go to Knockendorf. We know there is a contract there. I kind of want to explore to see what's in the middle here. So I'm gonna pause as I travel. Let's see what's in Knockendorf. One skull contract. Brigands. Mm. That meant for East. So I'm not gonna do the one skull contract. But I am going to go there and kill the brigand. Let's uh, pay for some rumors. Kraken. Yeah, I know about that. They're said the guardsmen do, but these brigands just move on to the next town. They're said to lurk near Weddlemark now. There's got to be a town north of here. All right, so there's a camp, brigand camp east of Knockendorf. Let's go slaughter that. Completed our mission. The lookout should really help us find that camp. Yeah, if it were a three skull contract, I'd do it for sure. But one skull contract, where well, it's beneath us. We're not doing that. But the camp could have a leader, it could have marksmen with crossbows that I want. Uh, should definitely do it. Hmm. There could be beasts to fight, so we can finally buy the guy that makes us go faster. Ah, oh. oh! Crixus! Well, I mean, we're tougher now, and we have more guys. And I have been meaning to get some of my characters killed off, huh? We know how to fight necromancers now. It's the same fight that we took on day 7, but it's day 17, and our brothers are a lot better. We have the two-handed cleaver. I think I'm gonna do this. We have a bannerman. We have nuts that could come in handy. Netting one of those berserk zombies could do something. Let me uh, reorganize the company. Uh, this is a good place to pause. We're going to go kill this necromancer. That men's for e, by, East, by the way. So after we kill this, we're going to loop up around here to try to find that brigand camp. Thank you for watching. Until next time.